Wow. Maybe I have just two words for that, first class. Coming in yesterday, you know, with my family and, and team, you know, from Makodi. Um, as a matter of fact, before we came, we were already feeling the warm reception. You know, I must commend the leadership of Graceview Christian Center because definitely you're, you're looking at excellence from the top. The anointing flows from top down. And you, sometimes you don't even have to be in a place to know that there is already excellence. So we could sense that, you know, from the manner in which things were organized, uh, the protocol guys were really great, following up on the movement, how we were coming. And as a matter of fact, they were ready to go all out. I, I guess if we said, <laughs> you know, they should meet us up at wherever distance, they were ready to, to go all that extra mile. And this is not just something they do. You, you could see the passion in them. And you know, you, be, you, you, you could be at places where people are doing things simply because they are told to do them. But I think the people I've, I've seen at Graceview, they really know what they're doing. There's a heart of ministry in it and it changes everything because ministry is service and you really know when you are served. They serve, you know, they serve the anointed with a lot of, a lot of knowledge. I think I would rather say it that way, a lot of knowledge. They know what they're doing. And uh, getting into the hotel, wow, it's awesome. You know, environment, beautiful, great rooms. The meals, I mean, significant highlight. Basically, I cannot speak about my life without speaking about my encounter with Christ. So that begins with salvation. Um, I look at salvation as everything. So when I had the encounter with the love of Christ, it changed everything about my life. So it doesn't matter how long, you know, um, I am in, in life and whatever I achieve, Basically, that's a major highlight. And then I'd like to also speak about, about God's call upon my life. In 1995, I got the call to the ministry and responding to it, especially at that time of my life, I hadn't even been to university. I was just trying to get into school, um, into the university. So you could just look at the kind of acceptance that wasn't really there at the time from people, especially when you tell them that you've been called to the ministry, you know, as an apostle. But I believe that I, I heard God, I had encounters with Christ and I just went all the way. So, and I've seen, you know, the power of God's love and then, you know, God confirming the call upon my life, like something Apostle Paul would say, through my life, the signs of an apostle, you know, has been evident in everywhere I've been to. So I, I like to look at that as one of the major and basic highlights. God's call, His faithfulness, you know, just not allowing me to just be on my own. He's been everywhere I've gone to, I've seen His word work in people's life. And I think that's one of the most important things for me, seeing lives transformed purely out of nothing and becoming just about everything they are now and they are becoming. So that's, that stands out for me. Wow, my drive for life, I love people and um, I think that's also the heart of the Father. I'm not thinking, I know it's the heart of the Father. God loves people. I love to see people become who they are. I don't like neither myself nor people being a shadow of themselves. So I believe a man comes into his own when he knows who he is. You know, it's just like Peter and Jesus. He was Simon and then Jesus asked the disciples, who do men say I am? And then, by the Spirit of God, he said, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And that moment, Jesus revealed him to him. He said, and you are. He said, and you are Peter. So my drive, really, it's, it's seeing people's lives transformed. And talk about today's service. You know, when this word burns in your heart, you really want to see it born in people's heart. You want to see people see what you see. Because until then, they may not be able to walk and enjoy some of these things. God has... God has called us to inherit a blessing. For me, it's, it's either that or nothing. If we have been called to inherit a blessing, it means we, our calling has a purpose. So if we're not working in the blessing, we're not working in the call. So it's, uh, it's something that gives me a lot of passion to see this word, you know, transform and change people. It would always be a, fashion, a passion and a fire burning. And then like Jeremiah, even when sometimes you feel like, ah, let me just pack up and uh, not everybody may be teaching or saying this. I'm not saying we, we're just a few of us, no, but 
you don't really get to bothering about people because even when you try to shut up, the word is locked up in your bones and you just can't stop. Paul says, uh, who is me if I preach not the gospel? So, you know, getting this good news to the world remains a passion and you can see it in, it doesn't matter if the gathering is just a person, two, per two persons, 50 people, 1,000 people, regardless of the audience, the passion really is doing what God has called us to do, taking this message out and seeing it affect lives in the way we desire it to be. Thank you very much. Oh, Pastor Ayeni. Uh, I don't know, the words may be many, but I'll try to compress it. Um, I've known Pastor Ayeni for some time. Maybe then he didn't know me, but once. You know, I just have this penchant sometimes. I come around, sit in the audience, get lost in the audience, just get what I want to get and all of that. But I closely met him in 2013 at Faith Adventure in Boko. And I've heard a lot about him apart from my just personal experience. And usually when I see a man that is, you know, highly greased, I tend to like follow him, you know, follow him from a distance and then more closely listen to some of his teachings and I was like, I love people who are outright, they are down to earth, straightforward. They're not cutting corners. We know, yes, we're all ministers of the gospel, but you know, you can really look at Ayeni and see a, an open heart, someone who has a heart for people. 